Um, next up, I'd like to bring a, uh, a member of the community who's been a, a patient at the hospital, uh, Rebecca Phillips. Is Rebecca here? Sorry, there you go. Thank you, Rebecca. Don't stand up. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Rebecca Phillips, and I'm a Delaware County resident, and I've also been a patient at this hospital. Um, when I think of the visits I've made here, it's your faces, um, your reassuring words, your confidence, and your skillful care that comes to mind. 90% of my interactions have been with nurses and techs. So quite honestly, you are the folks I trust with my life, not the owners of this hospital. When I visited the radiology techs last year to follow up on a concerning mammogram, um, I was a nervous wreck. I was pregnant at the time, and um, I'm the daughter of a cancer survivor, so the possibility uh, was, was very real to me. Um, but my text kept my attention focused on um, light things. They, they helped talk me through what was happening. Um, their tone was upbeat and yet compassionate. And I left that day more relaxed and ready to handle whatever news might come. I was lucky that it turned out fine, but I know that they encounter people all the time where they're not so lucky. Um, and so I know that they have to maintain a brave face for those folks just like they did for me. And I've also spent, um, aside from the nerve-wracking times, uh, some of the best days of my life here when this little one was born in September, um, right here. And yeah. um, so my labor and delivery nurse was my champion. Um, she had my back at every turn to make sure that I was comfortable and calm and focused. Um, and as my family members shifted their focus to the new baby, my nurse was still there attending to me as I began my recovery process. And that night, it was my nurse who settled me into my room and chatted with me and put me at ease as my family members left. I can't tell you how reassuring it was to know that they were just footsteps away that whole first night with this little one. And when my baby was still awake at 3 a.m. and wanted to be comforted, um, it was my baby nurse who came in and lovingly wrapped up my tiny little girl and brought her to the nursery so that I could sleep off some of the exhaustion. Um, so I was there for just three days, but your faces, your dental touch, and the love you bring to your work is really vivid still. As I said before, you're the ones I trust with my life when I enter those doors. You care for me on my best days and my worst days, and you are in the business of sustaining life. Those hedge fund managers on the other side of the negotiating table are in the business of turning my best days and worst days into a profitable outcome. Yeah. Yeah. And they're doing this by making your working conditions harder and my patient conditions unsafe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I know you're also keenly aware of this when you enter this hospital as patients yourself. So I, I want to make that clear. We're in this together. Um, so my trust and belief in you only deepened when I found out that you voted to form a union. And that told me, these nurses and techs are gonna stand up and fight for all of us. And my belief in you grew even stronger when you decided to strike and risk your livelihoods, again, for all of us. So we're in this together. Um, don't let them push you around. Patients, patients don't get to negotiate a contract. We're relying on you. So thank you guys so much. We got your back, we got your back.